Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future content. Today, we are talking about Harley Quinn, Season 1, Episode 12. And I gotta get something off my chest real quick. No! 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 Alright. All right, now that's us out of the way. I Steve, Steve is very angry today. Very angry about this episode. Not because it wasn't good. Not because it wasn't action-packed. Not because there wasn't a good storyline. But because, spoiler alert, Poison Ivy dies. And that just really pissed me off. Because she's like... Like, Harley Quinn's obviously at the show's about her. She's number one. But Poison, she's number two. You can't just kill Poison Ivy. What are you going to do in the next episode and the next 13 episodes for season two without Poison Ivy? We need Poison Ivy. I hope she isn't actually dead. hope there's a way to bring her back to life or something. Maybe the Queen of Fables. No, the Queen of Fables can't do anything because the Queen of Fables is dead now, too. She got her head knocked off by a baseball bat. Um, so there's that. Uh, but maybe we can do some sort of crazy nonsense, bring the Justice League back the uh, couple members that we saw we got to see wonder woman superman uh batman green lantern um the flash suit i think i said superman already um probably forgetting somebody uh but we got to see a couple members of the justice league they thought harley quinn and her gang uh were the one that created all the tree monsters and infected gotham's water supply in reality it was the scarecrow uh the scarecrow somehow managed to uh outsmart Batman, or it looks like he did anyway, uh, so we're not sure. He's got fear toxins going around the entire city. Uh, Legion of Doom <coughs> is basically just wreaking havoc on everybody. Uh, I don't know what Bane and Lex Luthor and all these other criminals are doing, but uh, right now we got Joker and the Scarecrow and Queen of Fables are the main three that we're working with in this episode. Um, obviously the plant monsters are going around killing everybody. Uh, Commissioner Gordon gets the tanks, <laughs> starts blowing stuff up with the tanks, which is pretty cool. Harley steals the tank at one point, which is pretty cool. Uh, Joker steals her idea of the giant tower coming out of the ground like a jack-in-the-box, blowing up the previous Legion of Doom uh, building, and basically it's everybody kicking ass. Um, Harley um, is now extremely sad and pissed at the Joker. I would not be surprised at this, at this point in time she actually kills the Joker. Uh, because that that needs to happen. Joker needs to die. He just killed my girl, my favorite, probably one of my my favorite character in the show, Poison Ivy. I love love her. I love how they portray her in the show so very much. And then they killed her. They put a giant spear right through the middle of her chest, and it's it's just ridiculous. The sexual innuendos were there too. You know, you got the violence, you got the humor, you got the action. It's it's a great episode overall. No complaints. But. Uh, Poison Ivy better not actually be dead, because if she is, I'm going to be very pissed off. We only have one episode left, so we do have kind of a week to be mad about that <laughs> and Poison Ivy being dead. But I can almost guarantee you that she's going to come back, because who, who's going to replace her if she doesn't? Who's, who's going to replace that kind of character? Um, there's really no one to do it. I mean, that or Season 2 is going to get into a lot darker place, because now her best friend is dead, and, and she's not really putting her in check. So we will definitely have to see what happens there um there's only one episode left of this season although we i know we are getting 26 episodes all together at the minimum so there is going to be a season two or a season one part two where we're going to get an additional 13 episodes not exactly sure when they're going to be released yet or what that's going to be about uh it's been a kind of a crazy season so far Harley got a highway named after her. um you know finally realized that the joker is no good for her poison ivy got a boyfriend uh dr psycho said the c word <laughs> which I'm not going to repeat it currently, because I'm an American. <laughs> it's a no-no word if you're European, whatever. Isn't eat your own. Uh, but good, as I said, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed this show, this season so far. I probably will do a recap of it uh, maybe after I do a review of episode 13 next Sunday. Um, but this episode, it was it was just fantastic. I mean, it was, it was everything about this series that you want to see. You have the sexual innuendos about how big is the uh, giant's dick. Um, you got Poison Ivy looking smoking, you know, Harley looking good. Uh, all the ladies looking good. Queen of Fables being a badass. Joker being a complete and total badass asshole. Um, he's bad, not the kind of bad we like. That's I think that's where, this, where we've seen him all the way. You got Batman, you got Commissioner Gordon, you got the Justice League. And basically, all the characters we've seen throughout the show, all of them are jam-packed into this wonderfully beautiful episode, minus my girl dying. 
So she better not be dead. She better not be dead. I'm coming for you, Kratos. If she is, I'm coming for you. Your whole audience is coming for you. Everybody loves Poison Ivy. Look at the forums. Look at the subreddits. Everybody loves Poison Ivy. Anyway, my name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Great episode overall. And as always, have a good one.